and my mind is gone. It's, it started to. I am still everything and more. Stretch marks, cellulite, you always be. Sometimes on social media, you scroll, you scroll, and you feel like everybody looks the same. Sometimes you just need to see someone who looks like you. I'm sure you guys saw it on TikTok. I was influenced on TikTok. I bet like the brown is almost going to an orange brown. Huh? Like us. And then I'll probably put some wax. Now I'm going to show you guys some of the stuff that I got from here. Baskets that you can use the first Vlogmas episode. Oh, We are on episode 3 and I'm so glad that you are here and I hope you are enjoying it so far I won't lie to you guys. I had a really good morning um, I was very productive. I Journaled I managed to read I just managed to do the things that like fill my cup especially in the morning and Yeah, I even feel confident today, you know to be honest guys. I am I would say 70 80 percent confident all the time but these recent months has been difficult okay honey like okay i've mentioned it a few times i've gained a bit of weight right and i just wanted to start this vlog by reminding the girlies the women out there that as much as we see on social media everybody looking confident and they love themselves all the time and they probably never have any self-esteem issues or confidence issues let me be the first one to tell you we all go through that you know we on social media always want to seem like we got our shit together we are confident we are strong we are this but we're not guys we are just baby girls just trying to you know deal with what society makes us believe is beautiful you know what i mean and i know that i'm a beautiful girl i know that i'm a confident girl but i also know that i'm a girl with insecurities i'm a girl that knows that she has some flaws and it's it's tough sometimes you know what i mean it's so hard sometimes to always consistently like remind yourself about your own worth because i always say nobody is going to teach you self-worth other than yourself honey so i'm just here to remind you if you are a girly that is battling with your body image don't worry you're not alone just be more gentle with yourself i feel like with the recent months since i've gained quite a bit of weight i had to remind myself of that that my weight gain doesn't mean that i'm less worthy of love of respect of appreciation um i am still everything and more and i'm just here to remind anyone who is watching this video who is battling with that that you are beautiful with all the imperfections that we have from saggy boobs from you know belly stretch marks cellulite you are worthy you're beautiful and please don't forget that honey and I also just want to remind you that you're not going to always love what you see in the mirror. But it's about being intentional with your thoughts and trying to remind yourself of who you are in the inside before you think about yourself on the outside. Sometimes you just need to embrace who you are. And if you're different, even better because that makes you unique. 
sometimes on social media you scroll you scroll and you feel like everybody looks the same sometimes you just need to see someone who looks like you and I know there's girlies that relate to me especially because I am plus size and you see yourself in me and I just hope that I continue showing you guys that you don't need to cater to society stereotypes of a plus size woman we are lazy with this with that with bloody blah we don't need to conform to those stereotypes but i truly believe that you know treating yourself currently like you are a piece of dirt and then expecting that okay when i lose weight or when i do surgery I will be a better person no you will find a new insecurity to dog on until you'll never satisfied so I'm just here to remind you that you're beautiful you're fabulous you are everything and more worthy of everything that you want in your life if you want to change or do something to change yourself do it from a place of love because at the end of the day you are in control of your body and you are in control of your mind if you have a positive mind losing weight will come easy honey if you have a positive mind saving that money for surgery will come easy honey because you are you know law of attraction guys like yeah do you know what i mean i hope i made sense but i'm just trying to bring some positivity our way it's december i feel like there's so much pressure to look a certain way there's so much pressure to eat healthy you know be consistent but yet have fun and drink just chill just chill just be intentional just try your best and just be intentional with who you're trying to become for the new year and that's all you can do honey like don't put too much pressure on yourself don't think about having a summer body summer is already here sana is already here babes so the body that you currently have the body that you currently have is your summer body and make it work honey work it period anyway i'm about to change um i'm just gonna wear i'm just gonna wear this dress from small street actually it's not from small street it's discount fashion i think you can find it at eastgate i don't know where else but yeah the store is called um discount fashion so i'm wearing excuse me i'm burping a lot so yeah, guys you know when you bloat it and you just have gas <laughs> thank goodness it's coming out this way <laughs> and i also want to show you guys some of the things that i got from pep um i want to lie the christmas decor at pep it's giving very low budget and i understand i'm a low budget girl but i'm a it's giving very low budget and it's so bright and it's so like where are the neutral colors for christmas but <laughs> this is south africa what do you mean neutral so i actually want to show you guys first i got my sheen order earlier than i expected they said 17 to 20 days obviously it's the festive season so yeah it made sense for it to be delayed so everything went smoothly love that for us everything went smoothly so basically they had a black friday deal or special buy one wig and get another one for free well technically for eight rand for eight rand yes. um or nine rand so i got myself a bob and i got my mom a bob fringe <laughs> I won't lie it's given quality it's given quality um i'm not a wig girly so i wouldn't know like okay, I, I feel like i would know the difference between like fake hair and real hair it's definitely giving good quality um affordable real human hair the issue is i feel like i went wrong with the dis dis density yeah basically the volume of the hair it's rather thin so <laughs> but the one that i got for myself i also realized only after a few days of you know putting in the order that i got i think it's a v part or a t part or something like that where i'm supposed to take out my natural hair and like put it here in the front like in the middle almost like um you know a sew in bonding you know leave out type of situation and i'm like i just 
just wanted a wig that I could just put on my head. So, but anyway, I'm talking way too much. So this is how the package look. I'm sure you guys saw it on TikTok. I was influenced on TikTok. And let me show you my one, right? I won't lie. It is giving... It's giving Dora the Explorer. And I feel like maybe bobs don't suit me. I don't know. Maybe I'm just, you know, being hard on myself because... You know, I'm not a girly that like buys this type of hair, so I think I'm just being too hard on myself. Um, but it's definitely more thicker compared to the one that I got for my mom. But let me show you guys how it looks in the front. So this is where my natural hair is supposed to pop out and go here. So I feel like I also need to go on YouTube and figure it out. But is it me or it's giving quality, guys? It's giving quality. I'm indecisive about dyeing this black and then dyeing my, my natural hair black but when you look really closely there's a bit of brown so my hair my natural hair is currently like that it's black and brown because I dyed my hair black so we'll see with this one and then this is gonna be my mom's one I need to make sure that I put it back in the package correctly for her I already, I already told her that I'm very skeptical about this one, but my mom is is hopeful. I honestly feel like this wig. Do you see? Do you guys see this fringe? I feel like this wig requires like a hot comb. Like you just you know curl it here by the bangs. You mustn't leave it straight because you're gonna be looking like a wet mop. And yeah it's kind of thin you know compared to the other one but i feel like if my mom my mom is good with styling her wigs you know she wears wigs most of the time so she just needs to curl it and i think it will be good to go i don't know if you guys want me to wear those wigs <laughs> and show you i don't know honey i'm not good with this hair stuff okay and then i have one more wig that i've got and then this is a synthetic wig and i won't lie when you see the picture on the side it's not the same it's the same but not the same honey like something is not the same with this hair and i won't lie for almost 300 rand this is so frizzy guys like so frizzy and i understand with synthetic hair the more expensive it is the better like it lasts it won't obviously last compared to real hair obviously but it will last you a bit of time so i got this wig right and on camera now it's giving a nice brown and that's what i thought you know also when i saw it's on sheen but in person it's giving almost almost like it's not even brunette brown it's it's I don't know how you can describe it like the brown is almost going to an orange brown you know that type of brown orange brown oh yeah i know the color copper it's going to a copper color but the layers are giving please look at the layers honey look at the layers honey the layers are giving but yeah it's definitely not what i expected but the style is literally what i expected i wanted here with these type of layers because i feel like if i had to buy like real real hair and spend a lot of money it would be a wig that looks like this very wavy very um you know curly type of hair yeah i love a bone straight hair but this is giving and do you guys see over here look like that's why i'm like hmm I'm not sure eh? because at least with the wig that I bought in town the synthetic wig it was flowy and this has a lot of um, shading already so yeah ne? Hey. okay so this is this is my way basically so this is my way I literally just took out my hot comb 
and try to flatten my semi natural hair oh guys my hair used to be so long it used to be here now it's here because it's breaking but if you guys can see my natural hair is here and funny enough it's blending it's blending better than what i expected but um yeah i definitely need to relax my hair you know what i mean i normally relax my hair at home because i don't put too much relaxer so it's still a bit curly yet it's not natural but i feel like i need to go to a professional this time around i i don't know much about hair guys but yeah it's curling on the sides i wish that it was curling more into the in, like inwards but you know what can i say and then also here on the top you guys can see that there's a little band over here i'm assuming that it's to hold the wig together but i don't know how to cover that like how do you cover that with hair but then it's just an awkward you know what i mean like i don't know how to do this hair honey but it's cute from far <laughs> i look like a grown woman i look like my age <laughs> And, and it and it and it moves honey but i'm looking like you know betty boop with this hair honey guys i literally took a video for my mom no no do you see my natural hair <laughs> oh hell no ciao I don't think it's the fault of Sheen. I think it's me. I just I just want to be a cheapskate and choose the cheapest hair without seeing the details about the hair. And this is what you get when you don't look at the details. You just look at the price and this is what you get, honey. This is exactly what you get when you just look at the price. Anyway, let's um, wear my mom's one. So this is my mom's wig. let me go to the mirror and check how to put this wig on because i'm not a wig person so i don't know what i'm doing okay i don't know what i'm doing guys i don't know what i'm doing okay i'm back i'm back okay the <laughs> bitch there's still some flyaways here So this is my mom's way. It's actually so cute with makeup. Like, ah, oh, I regret not getting two of these. To be honest, like it actually looks so cute with makeup on. Um, I don't know if it suits me, but I know it will probably suit my mom. And then probably if you curl it over here, you know, Nyana, it will look cute. Um. I definitely feel like this hair looks cute with makeup like when I wore it yesterday I was like what's going on you know I was like this is not giving honey but actually this is kind of cute like I'm jealous for my mom like I'm so jealous uh, I actually wish I didn't tell her that I got this wig I wish I kept my mouth shut because I was just gonna act like you know this is my wig but you know what I wanted to do a gesture for my mom but maybe if I can convince her, if she can give me this wig, I'll get her an air fryer. Maybe we can work on a deal. You know what I mean? What do you guys think? Is it giving? No. Let me send my mom a picture. All right, guys. So this is the other hair, and this is the fake one. Okay. Um. To be honest, as you guys can see by the price tag, it's giving what the price tag is giving, okay? Like, I won't lie, it's very shiny, it's very, it's not soft, I won't lie to you, like, especially towards the end of this hair, it is not soft at all, honey. It looks soft, but it's not at all. Um, I do like this part of the wing because obviously I will take this down and then cut this 
and then I'll probably put some wax so then it just sits like this but it's definitely giving Bobby girl like Bobby girl I'm a Bobby girl in a Bobby world like it's giving that type of hair texture it's not a synthetic wig that I would wear on a daily basis or like even a wig that I would wear to do errands this is the type of wig whereby maybe you want to be freaky with your mane <laughs> I'm just joking mom just jokes just jokes just jokes on a serious note like I feel like this is the type of way where you gotta put it on because you're going to an event and you just wanna you know just put on a different type of wig I feel like this is a fun way this is not a practical way because this wig is going to shed a lot and also it's going to frizz out a lot and also it's quite dense you know what I mean like even if I want to do this, it even gets stuck in my nails, and like on the real, on the real. Like when I when I brush this hair, it literally feels like I'm brushing my natural hair, <laughs> for real, for real. And yeah, I also think I just need to put some foundation over here because um, the lace is quite white. But yeah, what can I say guys, for, for vibes, it's giving I guess, <laughs> for vibes, but yeah, tell me what you guys think about it, I don't know, back to life, back to reality, I won't lie, this wig is cute, like, I thought I was looking quite old with this hair but I have fallen in love with it so now I'm gonna show you guys some of the stuff that I got from Pep but before we do I just want to put some lip gloss because well my lips are dry much better much better anyway so let me show you guys what I got um, I got this right I got this and you're probably sitting there saying why did you get this girl because you already have a shoe rail to be honest the shoe rail is not giving I'm still gonna use it because I do have a lot of shoes and plus my man has overtaken my shoe rail by bringing some of his shoes here when he comes by shoe rack and storage hooks and basically guys I want to use this to put some of my shoes like um, maybe heels or whatever I don't know guys I'm still thinking about it but yeah I'm gonna put some shoes there but I think mainly what I want to use this for is for the hooks mainly if you guys can see I want to hang my bags guys my bags are literally stuffed into my wardrobe and I feel like they are damaging my bags my bags are really cheap as it is and being stuffed into that cupboard is not doing any good to them almost didn't buy it and i said let me just buy it next month because i don't need it but to be honest i've been looking for these honestly i've been seeing it on tiktok for a few months now and only now my local pep has these so i decided to just buy it once you know what i mean and plus it's only 229 rand 99 20 yo guys i'm tired <laughs> it's 229.99 rand that's what I'm supposed to say so yeah we're gonna put it together today and then as I mentioned I wanted to go to Pep um, earlier this week to get storage stuff for the fridge at the back there so I decided to change things up and I got this basket so Pep has come up with these new cute baskets that you can use to store vegetables or fruits so yeah i'm gonna use this i'm not sure for what yet um it might just be for eggs because i do have a lot of eggs currently i have 30 eggs so they don't all fit in the fridge so i think i might just put some eggs in here can you keep eggs outside my grand used to do that she used to keep eggs outside not in the fridge so i don't know if we can do that but yeah i think i want to just put eggs here i'll figure that out girls and then I got the basket that I wanted. I'm gonna put potatoes in this. This was 74 Rand 99. And this basket that I just showed you was 69 Rand, 69.99 Rand. 
and then Sana, I need to take this nail out, honey, because I think that it's gonna rip with my actual natural nail hey. I'm not careful. So I got these Christmas trees, right? We saw similar ones um, on the first Vlogmas episode when I went to Valley Co. And they were selling it for like more than like 50 rand. And I was like, for the small tree, no ways. So when I went to Pep, I was surprised to see it there. To be honest, I don't know. It's giving very old, I won't lie. But this was $29.99 so I decided to get red because I feel like my Christmas decorations is very neutral, it's very white. So, and plus guys, I don't have a lot of Christmas decorations. I'm just doing the best that I can with the small space that I have. So I just thought, you know, having these trees would be cute as an add-on. So I only just got two. I'll figure out where I'm going to put these. And then I also got these Christmas lights, but they also have like um, leaves with it. If you guys can see, it has leaves. And yeah, I just thought that would be cute as well. Goes with my, you know, earth vibes in my apartment. So yep, I got these. This was $49.99. You can't get normal Christmas lights also at Pep. I think they, you could get one for $29.99 and $39.99. And then this one was $49.99. And then obviously I got batteries. I got batteries for the lights and then I got some batteries for my remote and also for the lights in my kitchen. But yeah guys, let me pack up and continue with some work. I don't have to party to have fun you see. I got different hobbies and that's all I need. Some say life is boring. But I disagree I wake up and live my dream Someday soon I'm gonna make it Yeah Our hard work's gonna be worth it Ooh Everyone who didn't believe it
and go hide away from the light. But I don't dare to, I'm too fragile, and for that I do apologize. Maybe someday we can work it out, but I'm afraid it's too late to try. Baby, I don't dare to love you, and you know the reason why. Don't you know a way to eat to swim? Can't you feel the waves come crashing in? Running out of safety nets, cause every night, every night. Hey! 